Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, back with our next crazy camp, and this time we're checking out Greedy Newt's camp, also known as the Scrapping Crap. Now we are going to take a lap around the outside of his build, mostly so you can take in his perimeter fence. I know it sounds weird, but I've been to plenty of camps that feature perimeter walls, and most of them actually just look out of place. They don't feel quite right. Whereas the perimeter of his build actually feels like it's supposed to be here. And that's something I can completely appreciate. But we'll continue to make our way around. And I mean, there's, there's quite a few things going on here, but one of the main things that drew me to this camp is his uh, power tower, I'm gonna call it. That thing is awesome, and we will take a much closer look at that when we get inside. But it's funny, this actually isn't the camp he wanted me to record. But when I showed up, this is the camp he was on. And I went ahead and I looked at uh, his other camps, and I was like, no, 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 I want to go back to that first one. I gotta go back to that. That one's just too darn good. So, now on the inside. Of course, lovely perimeter wall that we've checked out. But right here, this little pile of junk. It might not seem that special, but almost that entire pile of junk right there is stuff that he put there. And I was standing there for a minute going, wait, what, what was here before and what did he add? And that's when you know you've done a good job. Now up here, merged in, is Tipsy Tom, and it, it just looks good. Overall, there's going to be a bunch of merged items throughout this place. And that's for good reason. And that's because merging items make stuff way cooler than when it's not merged. Well, I guess it depends on what you're merging together, because something might look a little weird. But, let's head up here. Now, this structure, while it looks like it's being supported, is actually floating. But he did such a good job throwing in supports and all that, that you really can't tell. It looked like it was fully supported by support beams and the plane underneath it and I'm a pretty huge fan of supporting your structures I really don't like floating stuff unless it's something that should be floating because you've built something that flies so the attention to detail throughout the build is phenomenal We'll continue to work our way around. Again, that junk pile. Really cool. Yeah, don't worry, we'll get to that tower. We're working our way there. But let's head up here. Merge the chair into... Oh my gosh, my brain went blank. Merge the chair into the other chair. We're just going to go with that, because uh, my brain just checked out for a minute. Over here we got the shop. Bunch of stuff on the shelves in here. And believe me, I know the struggles of merging stuff onto the shelves to make it look right. Oh, it is a fight. See, I mostly know that from the upside down camp build I did. And oh man, trying to merge everything so they were perfectly upside down on shelves. Oh, it's rough. Of course, Gramps chills back here in the store. Overall, I'm digging it. Uh, I'm pretty sure Gramps is digging it too. I'll tell you this much, I'm not going to pull his finger. No matter how many times he asks me, it's not happening. Got that new gumball machine over there. Plenty of pictures on the wall. But now let's, let's work our way back out. Because I really want to go check out the tower. Also, I know I haven't mentioned it in the last couple videos. But always be nice and try to remember to close doors if you open them. Uh, that's a, a pretty major thing. But we'll start working our way up this tower because th this was just a really cool idea 
to sit there and take some of the uh, original windmill generators and mix them in with the newest windmill generator. It just gives it a much, much cooler look overall. And I haven't seen anyone basically merge stuff in with this new generator. So to get to see it done, and to get to see it done in such an awesome way, like I can't say enough about it. I mean, this tower was one of the huge contributing factors to me wanting to record this camp. I, I'm just, I'm pretty excited that I got to see someone pretty much knock it out of the park with just that one camp item and then everything else going on here just brings it all together it's a really cool scrapper camp now that's gonna wrap up the tour of his camp huge thank you to greedy newt for letting me share this with all of you now if you've got a camp that you think has what it takes to be on crazy camps Hop down in the comments, let me know, please let me know what platform you're on, because that will kind of matter a little bit, and I'm really hoping to see some insane builds down the road. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.